Well, another piece of breaking news coming in. Jagmohan Dalmia is all set to be the new BCCI president. The nominations have closed and both sides claim that they are backing Dalmia. Let's cut across to Rasesh Mantnani, who is present in Chennai, where the annual general meeting of the BCCI will take place on uh, Monday. Rasesh is uh, joining us on the phone line and also joining us live is Borya Majumda, our consulting sports uh, editor let me first quickly go cut across to borea borea dalmia almost certain now no certain not almost it's done you know he's the only candidate and both sides are claiming that he's their candidate so there is no more almost we've been reporting from morning front runner mm. front runner almost but now it's no longer almost it's done and dusted so jagmon dalmia is actually the new bcci president and elected unopposed what is more interesting, Ankit, is there will be elections. There will be elections for the rest of the portfolios. Yes. We now know that both sides have filed their panels. Hmm. Uh, the Srinivasan lobby uh, has filed Sanjay Patel for secretary, Amitabh Chaudhary and Anirudh Chaudhary for joint secretary and treasurer. Yeah. While the Sharad Pawar lobby has filed Anurag Thakur for secretary, Rajiv Shukla and Chetan Desai for treasurer and joint secretary. So expect a lot of horse trading hmm. over the next 24 hours leading to that AGM tomorrow. Horse trading. Uh, Borea, before I quickly cut across to Rasesh, uh, just a, a quick question to you on uh, one, uh, once more. How does it pan out for N. Srinivasan? What do you see uh, in future for him now, Dalmia taking over the charge of the BCCI? Exactly, but uh, we cannot rule out uh, you know him having an active interest in, in Indian cricket. He remains as things stand the ICC chairman. The panel has put up uh, a, a list of candidates that would be fighting the election. In fact, some of the candidates that have put up, particularly in the vice president category, have sort of got uh, the other camp worried as well and, and taken by surprise. Uh, someone like uh, Motilal Nehru, who's a JNK vote, which uh, was assumed to be a power camp vote, and CK Khanna, who is from DDCA, that is where Arun Jaitley belongs, that is also a candidate put up by the Srinivasan camp. Then Ganga Raju, he's from Andhra and he's a BJP man. It's known to be a BJP vote and that comes from the Srinivasan panel. So, you know, that is quite interesting. I think what all of this indicates is mm. that, uh, you know, the theory of all the eight BJP votes swinging in one direction may not happen. Yeah. You know, that may not happen. You know, and remember these uh, candidates are not fighting for a party symbol. Yeah. And it may well be that eventually the elected, uh, uh, the, the elected group might might well have to run the BCCI collectively. So, you know, it, 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 we are all set for a uh, photo finish as far as the BCCI elections are concerned. And despite the fact that Pawar and Srinivasan are not uh, in the running, yeah. you know, their camps are act actively involved. So, she stay on with me. Uh, Bode, coming back to you, uh, you know, uh, uh, of course, uh, bo uh, both as uh, Rashid was saying, Pawar and uh, and Srinivasan are fighting, but their camps are actively involved. They are the ones pushing up, propping up names. How, which camp does Jagmohan Dalmia belongs to, and how he becoming the president? How is it going to affect the functioning as far as the BCCI is concerned now? Million dollar question: Which camp he belongs to? Yesterday night he had a midnight meeting, tete a tete with uh, Sharad Pawar, Shashank Manohar. Srinivasan camp claims he is with them. Uh, it's a million dollar question which camp he belongs to. Both camps are laying claim on Jagmohan Dalmia and not only on Dalmia, the three votes he controls, CAB, NCC and Tripura. These three votes will become extremely crucial in that election tomorrow because it's a photo finish as Rashesh very rightly said. So, you know, these two, three votes that Jagmohan Dalmia controls can tip the balance in any favor. Yeah. So he is being claimed by both parties. You've got to wait and see. But as I said, loads of horse trading over 24 hours. Rasesh, very quickly coming to you. Monday is the annual general meeting of the BCCI. What are we expecting? What will be on top of the agenda? Of course, the elections would be the elections for the office the, the, the process of formality of Mr. Jagmohan Dharma being appointed the president would happen. Then the, the rest of the office bearers, there would be a fight. I think also is crucial and also would have a ramification on how the elections proceed is who would chair the meeting. Mm. Uh, because the chairman, of course, remember, has a casting vote in case it comes down to that. The Srinivasan camp wants Shivla Yadav to be the chairman uh, under the provisions of the BCCI constitution. It could be any of the vice presidents. So it's another matter that could come up for debate as on the table. Then are, um, there are some uh, associations to put up two candidates, the Baroda, for example, who put up two representatives. So which of them would be qualified? That also becomes a question. So a lot of issues would be decided by the chair. And then, you know, we can expect a lot of friction. We can expect a lot of fireworks in the meeting tomorrow at the AGM. And also the other matter of who would represent India at the ICC as well. Remember, Srinivasan happens to be the man, but that's one of the poor items on the agenda. And it's also a decision which would have to be taken at the AGM tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, Borya, very quickly coming to you for the last uh, question. 
Uh, would we see changes in the way the BCCI has functioned so far? In all the things that we have been talking about uh, for the last many months with Supreme Court getting involved with N. Srinivasan, with IPL, with this new change of guard, are we, uh, can we expect some change as far as the BCCI's functioning is concerned? So we hope, Ankit, so we hope, because if we don't see change, then all of it is, is make no sense to me. And, and more importantly, Supreme Court will keep a close eye because after that judgment, according to Article 226, BCCI can be, you know, or, or will be adjudicated upon its functions. They now serve a public function, as you know. So it will be looked upon by the Supreme Court very, very closely. So one expects change, otherwise the Supreme Court will once again force its hand.